Wolf here with another video. So, last week I dropped my laptop, which was a sad moment for me, as you can imagine, because that also meant that I wouldn't be able to work on any new music, because everything I do musically, it ends up on my computer in some way, shape or form. So, after dropping it, then having a few sad days, I decided to lay out all my gear on my carpet and go for Carpet Session Episode 2. I sequenced all the gear with the Electron Digitone and ended up recording everything to an old cassette deck on a very old, like 20 years plus, stereo cassette tape. And well, I guess you can imagine how that influenced the audio quality. So after a couple of days, when I got my laptop back, I played the recording from the tape into my computer, where I edited it. The only thing that really messed up all of the editing process was the tape wobble. My tape deck being, well, not in pristine condition, the speed of my tape varied throughout the recording. I recorded uh, approximately 20 minutes worth of music for this jam and tried to edit it down to something more palatable. I had to make cuts and edits every like 30 seconds or so because the tape speed would vary and I had to stretch some passages, shorten others, speed them up, slow them down. You know, long story short, here's the Carpet Session episode 2, going dollars once again with edit, tape, sounds, distortion and warble. Enjoy. There is a theory which states that if ever anyone discovers exactly what the universe is for and why it is here, it will instantly disappear and be replaced by something even more bizarre and inexplicable. There is another theory which states that this has already happened.
Now, 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 now